Hey, what's up guys? Just doing a quick brake line video today. Just a DIY video. This is a 2003 Chevy 1500. And I mean, yeah, basically the same as any 1998 and 99 models are pretty much the same too. Um, it's pretty common. I just thought I'd shoot this video because I've seen it before where right down under the, the driver's side, it starts leaking. That's what happened here. Um, yeah, I just came out one day and there was, it was like a small leak right under the driver's side door. So yeah, in this video, I'm basically just gonna run a new brake line. Basically the cheapest way to fix it. Um, so anyway, I just got under here. Right under here, the, I'm right under the driver's door right now. And there's four brake lines right here. Right under the driver's door, there's four brake lines that come back. And I just had, I just had someone press the brake so I could see where the brake fluid squirts out. Right where the tip of my finger is there, there's a crack in the brake line. And it just rusted through and so yeah, that's where it was squirting out. So I'm just gonna replace that line. And so basically, there's these four lines come down here. They go up to the towards the engine of the truck, and then there's one line that goes to the left wheel. There's one line that goes to the right wheel, and the other two I actually didn't even check, but I think they go to the master cylinder. But anyway, they come down down the frame here, come down the top of the frame, and then they come down on the side come down the side of the frame back they go over the frame again and come and come over to right here is the ABS module so yeah anyway I had to trace that line over here the bolt cutters and cut the line um, right right there you can see where I cut but anyway there's four lines coming over right here and I just traced the one that was leaking and I cut it right here and then I also cut it where it goes up to this line actually goes up to the driver's side front left brake caliber it goes to that wheel that brake caliber so anyway I'm gonna take this loose I'm gonna take this whole part off here and then I'm just gonna I just bought a six a 60 inch brake line from auto parts with it has like both ends on it I'll show you in a minute here but I'm just gonna put one end in here and then I'm gonna run it straight up straight up the side of the frame here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna route it the same way that the old one was just because this is a work truck and um, I don't really see the point of bending it over that frame and then going up and then bending it back over to this side so I'm just gonna run it straight along the frame of the truck basically going to go through here gonna go in back here run it straight up here through the frame up the up this side of the frame and then it's just going to come straight up it's just going to come along along this frame here right here and then it's just going to come straight up here to where these lines are and this is going to go straight up and follow those lines up there on top along the top of the frame and then I'm gonna bend it and then it's gonna go down into the brake caliber because that's the line uh, that's bad right now so anyway so I'll show you real quick the line I got um, this was just a straight 60 inch brake line and it's got it's got a nipple on both ends this one's gonna go I actually already bent it just where I need it when you bend these you want to you want to like bend one area and then bend another area and just kind of take it easy just because you don't want to kink it but anyway so it's just gonna go in the truck kind of hold it where you can see it's just gonna kind of go in like this it's gonna go back to the brake or the ABS and then it's gonna come up and then it's gonna go right here it's gonna come down right here and then it's gonna plug in right to there this hose 
this rubber hose here goes down to the the I don't know the brake caliper so yeah if that makes sense and I mean yeah I'm gonna secure it once I'm done but I'm not gonna take the time to bend it perfectly the way the old one was so yeah I mean if that makes sense I mean if this would be a new truck then yeah I'd see the point of doing that but not on this truck just because I don't really care Stick it down in there. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm back. Uh, I got this. I got a 60-inch brake line. Just I got. I just got it laying in here right now. But it's gonna go. I'm gonna. This this end's gonna go down into this right here. And then the rest just goes straight back. All the way straight, it just comes up, then it bends, goes straight back, all the way back to the ABS module. Um, and then, anyway, so I thought that the fitting that goes into the ABS module, which is back there under the truck, I thought that fitting was the same as same size as this fitting, but it's not. So I had to run to Auto Parts and get this adapter. So basically. This adapter that I got, this end is the same size as this. And then this end here is the right size that's gonna fit into the ABS module. So this is a half inch 20 thread. So it's a half inch fitting with 20 thread. So if you yeah need this, just tell them that it's half inch with 20 thread. And then I got this adapter here, which is gonna connect both of them. So, I mean, this is gonna connect onto here, and then the other end is gonna connect onto like the other, the other end there. But you wanna make sure that you get a, a fitting that's made to go onto a compression fitting. This is a compression fitting. And as you can see, this has a nipple on the inside there that's made to go onto a compression fitting. Okay, so I'm gonna jump under the truck and see. I'm show you how I'm gonna put it together down there. Okay, so I'm under the driver's side of the truck, and right here is the ABS module, basically where all the brake lines come out that go up to the front. And so I'm just gonna show you the way I adapted it. It's right here, right up here. You see, here's the end of my 60 inch line. And I just put this adapter in here to connect both of these two. And then it comes on back. And then here it has the bigger, this is the half inch fitting. And these here are like quarter inch. I think they're just called standard fittings. And I think those are quarter inch, so. Anyway, and then this line just goes on up to the front driver's side brake caliper. And as you can see, right here, you can see it. Oh, it just runs up all the way and up here. And it just goes up into the engine bay there, and then it's gonna hook up to the brake caliber. And I haven't put this in the right spot yet. I still gotta move it up and attach it to the frame then, but. Right now it's just there for now. Okay, so I got the brake line ran from under here by the ABS, attached it there, ran it up on top of the frame, ran it along the top of the frame up here, up here, and as you can see, right into here, right here's the brake line. The new brake line, you can see like the greenish line right here. Um, it was a little longer than it was supposed to be, but I don't have a flare kit, and I know most other people don't either, so I just brought it up here, bent it around and down, and then now I'm going to bleed the brakes and make sure everything works good, and then I'll uh, fasten everything down later. So, yeah, this is a quarter inch line, so it's pretty tough. It's not the, it's not the smaller line, so... I mean, it's not going to go anywhere, but yeah, anyway, so 
Now hopefully this video helps you out and okay so the new lines here anyway there's four other lines that come up here from that ABS module. Two of them are right here. They attach right here and come up to the master cylinder and actually come right up in here and attach to here. So if any of those other two lines are leaking under your truck you can just just trace them see where they go and you can always just put a new line in there and then there's an, another one that comes on up here um, right here so I mean basically it comes on all the way up here and then it goes over to the other side of the truck and that'll be for your uh, passenger side that's that one's gonna be for your passenger side AB or brake caliper so yeah I mean I basically the one I changed was basically one of the easier ones for the driver's side here but yeah hopefully that helps you out with your other brake line leaks that happen down in that area under the driver's side door so thanks for watching and like if you like this video or if it helps you out and comment below thanks a lot